would you live in homes like these? From holes in the ceiling to leaking boilers, from mould and damp to dodgy electrics. These photos were used to prosecute some of Britain's worst landlords. Landlords like Bernard McGowan. Bernard McGowan, Joel Hills from ITV News. How many convictions under the Housing Act have you got, Bernard McGowan? He is a serial offender. How many convictions? We count at least six. Have you got more? Bernard McGowan claims to have built a property empire worth more than £30 million. Over the years, he's repeatedly been convicted and fined for the conditions of the homes he rents out. He claims it's all historic, but there's compelling evidence his behaviour hasn't changed. Brent Council has banned you from being a landlord, Mr McGowan. You're still operating there. You're breaking the law still, aren't you? Mr McGowan wasn't keen to answer questions. When we confronted him, he locked himself in the toilet of a coffee shop. Mr McGowan, are you above the law? He had taken this whole thing. Dawood Hussein used to rent a home from Bernard McGowan. He says McGowan tried to evict him by cutting off his electricity supply, which is a criminal offence. Like in the middle of the night, our electricity meter gone. Boom. Darkness. What's going on? You go outside. Look, there's no meter. Weeks later, Dawood says he returned home following a period in hospital to find the locks had been changed and his belongings removed. Did you fail to pay the rent? No, my rent was paid directly into his account monthly. I called Mr McGowan straight away to confront him, to tell him that I was going to take the, you know, this matter to the police. How did he respond? He laughed at me, as if, you know, I was the one who committed the crime. Dawood took his case to court and won damages. Twelve years ago, the licensing of landlords was introduced to better protect tenants. The law is enforced by local authorities, although only landlords with larger properties have to have a licence. In September 2015, Brent Council in North London judged Bernard McGowan not fit and proper to hold a licence. But the law allows him to continue to rent out his property via an agent, so he's still in business. Agents now manage the 10 properties that Bernard McGowan owns in this development. Tenants pay up to £800 a month for a room here and most of those we've spoken to complain repairs still aren't being carried out. In a statement, Brent Council told us we are appalled by the way Bernard McGowan consistently failed to meet standards which resulted in our two convictions against him and that Brent is one of the leading councils in the country for its crackdown on rogue landlords. As I mentioned, Erskine Clark is another of Bernard McGowan's former tenants. £200 a week in housing benefit bought him this room in a shared house with mould, a faulty boiler and a leaking toilet. If you had a moment to sit down with him and he'd listen to what you had to say, what would you tell him? Would I tell him? I said you have no respect for human life. He doesn't care. He doesn't care. I think all he cares about what money he makes. As long as you get paid, he's fine. Back in Hertfordshire and after 30 minutes locked in the toilet, Bernard McGowan's taxi McGowan. has arrived. He's making his point escape. Point. Are you an incompetent landlord, Mr McGowan, or do you just not care about your tenants? This is a court document. Can I just show it to you? This is a court document. It's from a recent case against you. Unfortunately for Mr McGowan, he's just got in the wrong taxi. You left tenants with broken windows, with poor heating, Mr McGowan. They had damp and mould. There was a mice problem in this property, Mr McGowan. Do you not care? Would you live in these conditions, Mr McGowan? In a properly functioning market, the idea is that bad businesses fail. But in Britain's rental market, you can be an appalling landlord and get very rich. Joel Hills, ITV News.